Hello, welcome back. So in the previous lesson, we have seen the interface of the Houdini. So now in this lesson, we are going to see how to import the 3D objects. So we can import different formats of 3D objects into Houdini, like we can import FPX, OBJ files. So the 3D models, which has been done in Maya, Blender 3D, 3ds Max, et cetera. And now in the network menu, we need to add a node. So first of all, if you want to see the menu in the network node, we can press tab or else we can use the right mouse button to get this network menu. And now first we need to create a node. So just we can press tab and we have to search for the geometry node. So here you can find this geometry node. So you have to select on this and you have to click on this network graph. So now it has been created a geometry node and this node is empty now. So what we need to do is we need to go inside this geometry node. So in order to do that, we need to just double click so that we will go inside the geometry node. So see here, the name of this context has been changed to geometry. So here you can see the path. So suppose if I click on this back, then we can go to the objects mode. So here we can create different objects here. And now if you want to go inside, just we need to double click. So now we are inside the geometry node. Now, if you see, if I go back, and now suppose if I open the network menu in this objects context. So suppose if I click on this tab, so here you will get different menus. And now suppose if you go inside this geometric context and if you press tab here, you will get a different menus when compared to this object level. So here you will get the different menus. And if you go inside here, you will get a different menus. And now in order to import this OBJ or a BX file, just we need to create a node so that is like if you press tab and we have to search for the file so now we have to click on this file and just click on here and now here in the parameters window just we can browse the geometry so here you can see there is an option like geometry file so from here you have to browse the object which you want to import so you have to click on this and search for the object where it is and now these are the models which I have. So one is like OBJ and FBX. So you can select any one of them. So I can select this OBJ and click on this accept. So now you can see we got this object into Houdini. And here also in node graph, if you want to navigate, we can use the middle mouse button drag. And if you use scroll in scroll out to zoom in zoom out. And now we'll see the model here. So just so I will be in the camera view so that I can orbit with the left mouse button. So this is a model which I have done in Maya and exported as OBJ file. And if in case if you don't want to see this UV texture, uh, then you can see you if you come to this side bar and here you can see there is an option show UV texture. So if you disable this now, you will not able to see any UV texture. And also if you want to uh, hide these edges which you are seeing here, so we can go to this box and there is an option like smooth shaded. If you click on this smooth shaded, now it will hide the mesh. And also one thing, the vehicle is not smooth uh, because what the thing is actually I didn't add the smooth to this vehicle in Maya. I have exported without smooth. That's why here the edges are very harder. And now if you want to scale this object uh, into the unit size, that means like default, uh, whatever the units are set in this Houdini, then if you want to scale according to that, then we can take one node here. So we have to click on this tab and we have to search for the match size. So click on this and left click here. And now we need to connect to this flag here. And now what the thing is still we are not able to see any changes. So here you can see each and every node you will see there is an option called display flag. So what the thing is now if I click here now it will show the output which is coming from this node here. So if I click on here now it will show the output which is coming from this node. So what the thing is finally uh, you have to decide uh, what node should be display in this scene view here. So for time being, I want to see this match size. So I can click on this display flag, which is last like blue color. And now see it has been set in the center of the origin. Now what we can do is if I select this and if you go to the parameter and now there is an option called scale to fit. Now if you click on this now, it has been scaled exactly to the units which has been set in the Houdini. And now if you want to increase the size of this vehicle, then here you can see there is an option target size. So I can middle mouse click and drag so that I can increase and decrease the 
size of this model. And also we can set the position. So here you can use this X, Y, Z value. So if I use this, let's say I want to move in Y axis so I can build it mouse button and drag so that I can move to the Y axis. And also if you don't want to use this position and here in the justify Y, here you can see there is an option like center. That means what the thing is I want to place this vehicle exactly on the top of this grid here. But now you can see the wheels are going below this grid level. Now if you want to set exactly this wheel level to this grid. So in justify you can click on this minimum. So now you can see it has been exactly set on to the top of this grid here. So this is how we will import the 3D objects into the Houdini. And that's it for this video. See you in the next lesson.